Tom, Tommy asked a great question. He goes, do you feel a third party sample manager is needed to catalog and preview samples or does studios file Explorer? Not sure what it's called. Does the job? No, I got. So, bro, you are preaching to the choir. I got a lot of shit. Um, but so I don't know if you've tried this because I ran into this type of situation. Um, I did what was called smart crates. So I quickly made this DMB thing and I've made folders that are a particular style, which took maybe a little bit of time, but um, I started grouping them by styles on in this section. So I made a smart crate and what I did was in the comment section, I would give it a particular style that I like. So for example, um, I don't know, if, have you ever messed with doing smart crates, Tommy? Let me know in the chat. Because what you can do is you can create a smart crate. And if you had specific styles of stuff, you can tell it in the comment section. Um, okay, perfect. Okay, cool. So, um, what types of samples do you have a lot of? If you can describe it in a style. And if you have them in a particular folder. Yeah, making a smart crate within Serato Studio. But what I'm asking is, what is a lot of samples that you do have? Are they a, a particular style? F for example, follow along, follow along with me. As you can tell, these are percussion um, loops that I have right here. These say pads, kicks. I'm going to my all section real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a smart crate. Um, yeah, you're whatever you have a lot of, because right now you're probably starting at zero organization and just a lot of stuff. Axel, what's up, bro? How you doing, man? Thank you for joining. So drum, bass, guitar, keys, orchestral, then world. Okay. So if you have, if you have them as crates, you're kind of there. But what you can do is the way I did these is I had a section of just cinematic style sounds. Almost sounds like the sample we were just messing with. So to keep these all organized, what I did was I made a smart crate that's called cinematic. And I told the rule that in the comments, Anything that contains the word cinematic, I want it grouped in here. So I'm going to create a new smart crate so you can kind of see the process. This My all is everything. So what I wanted to do is anything that says synth. Anything that says the word synth loop in the file name, I wanted to collect it into a, a specific folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click smart crate. So by default, it creates this rule section. Right now, this first tab that it's giving me is like an added date. I don't want to use that as my sorting parameter. I want to use file name. Our file name, the name that I wanted to uh, look for is anything that says synth right here. So I'm going to type the word synth, S-Y-N-T-H. So what it's going to do it's going to create a crate. By default, it's going to call it crate one. But I know that the name of it that I want is called synth. I'm going to hit save. Go to smart crate. It's going to try to find anything that says synth in it. It's going to try to put it in there. So right now it's trying to find stuff. And if it didn't, I probably didn't put it correctly. You could do that too. Let me see if it gathered it correctly, which maybe I didn't put the file name correct. Synth. Oh, you know what? Maybe underscore synth file name. Yes, I told it to do that. I don't want it to live update. There we go. There we go. Just had to do it again. So see how anything that says synth, anything says synth in it, 
it all gathered in this crate. I think it's because it took a while. All of this. And we just did this just now. So then what I do is I call this synth. Synth one shot slash loops. And now I have that folder there. I think it's still refreshing that, or it's still gathering synth loops because I got a million of them. But then I'll just move it around where I need to. So I'm going to put it right over here. Oops, didn't do that right. Let me give myself a little bit more real estate. There we go. Put it on the side. Bam. QRST. U V W. There we go. Now we got alphabetized. So I just made uh, I just made a folder of just synth one shots and loops. I might do that. I think it lost and drowned. Got to get more. I never use smart crates. It might take. Yeah. Yes. So it will take a little bit of time. Just so what I would advise you do is whatever. I, I typically will go with the comment section just because I don't want to mess with the file names because usually the comment section is, is blank with these. So what I'll do is because I have some new stuff from Splice um, that I got to go and categorize. So like with these here. So usually splice ones in the comment section won't have it'll say just distributed by splice. So for example, these are vocal chops. I'm just no, 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 no. Whoops. I'm just since these say all vocal chops, I'm just gonna double click here and just call these Vox. And I have it set up where this updates it it updates live so because i have vox in the comments those are going to show up now which they're up here at the top so you can have it where a live update so you don't have to keep going back and it's like hey did i set that in the comment section correctly anything that you put for me vox say tomorrow i got like 10 more vox stuff as long as i put vox in the comments yes they are they're in the metadata you can tag them per genre or instrument you can name it whatever you want so, if so, can I tag them per genre? Yeah, so you can do per genre for genre too. That's what I did here. So I made a crate where I wanted in the comment section, EDM slash house. I could do it there in the comment. If you don't want to do it there, you can you can set it up as a, a genre. I just don't. I just didn't. I didn't make. I didn't make genre a, a discoverable tab, but I could click on it and see genre is blank so you can actually rename it there too if you wanted for me when i dj i just use comment that comment section as my smart crate like parameter because just for me it just makes sense but if it makes sense for you to put it under the genre tab then do it just make sure if you make a smart crate for example we're going to use the genre ta uh, tag here if i make a smart crate make sure that for the rule what up, Hot Q? For the rule, again, by default, it's always going to start with this date parameter. What you do is change that, scroll down to genre here, and genre tab contain whatever you want to name it, Tommy. Whatever you want to name it. So once you create that, it's going to make a crate called crate one. Everything is going to, it's going to scan your whole system. So it might take a little bit of time. Um, if you run into any issues, uncheck live update, click it back again, and it'll start sorting through everything. And then, uh, yeah, once you have that, as long as you, you know, put the correct naming, make sure your spelling is correct. Because if your spelling's off here to your rule, it's not going to follow it. So just make sure that you have that select uh, typed in correctly from what you have it tagged here.
so yeah so even again you can use the comment section and just call it like trumpet instruments or or whatever whatever will help you group things together for you do it that way so whether it's genre um, again there's there's a bunch of tabs that you can tell it to to create a smart crate to grouping you can have it where it's a grouping of stuff you can call it like i made one of just saxophones so for me i made the rule where on the file name it look for anything that's saxophone Hmm. Funky. But I got to it quickly. That's your goal. You're trying to get to stuff very quickly so that you're not fumbling around trying to find stuff. You're just trying to be creative with what you're doing. That's that is the way. That is the key. This is the way. This is the way, sir. This is the way. Drum abuse. Let me put this up here. Again, I'm trying to I'm trying to organize these joints here. Yeah, because that was my worst thing was trying to organize stuff. I'm like, damn it, dude, this sucks. This sucks. Did that help out a bit a bit better for you, Tommy? Let me know, man. I want to make sure you're good on that, because that was something I was struggling with, bro. Big time. Big time. Awesome. Awesome. 